Hello and welcome to a video on Roxy, Rubrik's Intelligent Personal Assistant. My name is Chris Wall and I'm the Chief Technologist at Rubrik. Now Roxy is based on a real-world contribution that was developed as part of our annual hackathon. The spirit of this event is to push the boundaries of what currently exists and explore the realm of the possible. You may have seen Roxy featured in the Data Management Meets Artificial Intelligence video on YouTube. Now you can construct a Roxy of your very own and explore the idea of running a chatbot that can interpret spoken or written words to determine intent. This project is all about learning how to construct API calls to Rubrik, build AWS Lambda functions, design an AWS Lex chatbot, and put it all together. The best way to get started is to follow the quick start guide. This covers all of the steps and details, and for this video, I'm gonna provide an overview of the components that are used to construct a Roxy chatbot. As you can see here, this is the overall architecture. In essence, you're going to ask a question. Amazon Lex is going to determine what question you're asking by looking at the sample utterances to match an intent. It will then run a piece of Python code embedded in AWS Lambda, which calls the API for your on-premises or cloud-based rubric. In this case, we're just talking about an on-prem cluster of rubric. The API will respond to the query, and in this case, it's just telling us all the nodes are okay because I'm asking for the status of the cluster. That is then returned via Lambda to Lex, and Lex then responds in a more friendly format saying, your cluster is doing awesome. Let's talk about the steps necessary to get this done. First, you'll need to go to your Rubrik cluster and generate an API token. This is done by clicking on your user and clicking API Token Manager. You can see I already have one for my Lambda functions that expires in 2020, but you'd want to generate one that you're going to use specifically for this particular project. Next, you're going to want to head to Amazon Lex and set up a new bot. Now be warned, there are more steps than this, but at a high level, you're going to generate a bot with whatever name you want. I suggest Roxy. And when you go in there, it's going to be blank, and you're going to create all of these different intents. Let's talk about one of these, and we'll use the cluster status, there we go, to kind of show what was happening in the earlier diagram. Now you break down an intent into two components for this project. There's the sample utterances, which are the things or the words and phrases that Roxy is going to listen for to determine if you're trying to find out the intent listed here. In this case, the intent is finding out the cluster status, and so questions like status of my cluster or how is my cluster doing will help Roxy understand that you do mean this intent and are trying to find out information on this. Note that there's no question marks or punctuation because that is not part of the sample utterances. Now, when Roxy sees this sample utterance and knows that the intent that you're looking for matches this particular intent, it will go down to the fulfillment, which we have selected as a Lambda function, and actually just run a little bit of Python code, which is there just to call the API in rubric and return an answer. So we're saying, go ahead and call the git cluster status Lambda function and use the latest version of that. And whatever happens, go ahead and use the results of that to fulfill the request for the intent. All of the intents call functions that live in AWS Lambda, which is a serverless service, say that 10 times fast, used to capture snippets of code that can be run without having to worry about setting up a server or any infrastructure for it. Now, because we're running the Git cluster status code, we'll want to peer into that. A function is divided into several sections. The first is the function code, and that's literally, if we scroll down a bit, the Python code, in this case, used to execute a call that queries the API within rubric to ask a question. Now, in this case, we know that you're trying to get cluster status, so the point of the Python code here is to find out the health of your nodes and then return that as something a bit more friendly, such as your cluster is doing awesome. The way that we interact with the cluster within a rubric environment is by using an authentication token that was generated earlier. So the token value would go in there, and it's a very long kind of face roll set of characters uh, that looks kind of random and chaotic. You'd also want to supply a cluster IP and make sure that that IP is available on the private network that your Lambda functions and your region within Amazon live within. The other thing you'll want to do is make sure that you have a role set up, and that's also explained very heavily in the Quick Start Guide. So I'm using my Roxy Lambda role, which includes all the permissions necessary to make sure that Roxy can do what it needs to do to generate intents and communicate over the VPC network from my cloud environment back to on-prem. Speaking of that, the bottom section here where it says network is where I define the VPC that I want to live in. And in this case, it's an Oregon demo VPC in US West 2, as well as the various subnets that we're going to use for the Lambda functions and security groups. This is all necessary in order for traffic to route from the cloud to the cluster on-prem so that we can query the API. Switching back to Lex, we can go and look at this cluster status intent. We can see the utterances. 
And we can also test it by going to the test chatbot section and expanding it over here. And you can chat verbally or just type something to your bot. So I can say, how is my cluster doing? Submit it. And it may take a little bit for your first command, but subsequent commands go a little bit faster just because we have to get to the cluster. And it's gonna respond with, hopefully, your cluster is doing awesome. There we go, Roxy's letting me know that everything is awesome. And you can actually use this little detail area to see what's going on. We saw that it determined that I wanted the cluster status intent and that the message that came back was, your cluster is doing awesome. That's basically it. I hope you have a great time with Roxy and that you use this as a learning tool to explore what's possible with Rubrics APIs and the public cloud.